Hello. I'm back today for a refashion with this grey shirt that I bought from the charity shop yesterday. So I've decided what I'm going to do with this. So we're going to make it look quite different. So this one was a man's size medium. I'm going to size it down to my size, which is an 8 to 10, depending on what pattern or style you're going for. And this is what I've decided I'm going to do. So I'm going to hold it up so you can see. So I'm going to make the body fitted. I'm going to alter the shoulder line so that it fits my shoulders and it's not hanging off. I'm going to alter the sleeves. Now this is probably going to mean stitching the top part of the sleeve to the bottom part and having a join part of the way up because I want to make it quite full and gathered. And then I'm going to have this area finish at the waist and it come out at the bottom a bit like a peplum. Now not a complete peplum because we haven't got enough fabric for enough gather but we're going to make it look a little bit like that um, by adding a join and then making it narrow at the waist and come out a little bit so I'll show you how I cut the pieces for that. I'm also thinking I'm going to do sort of a, a different fabric on this band that goes around the neck here so I'm going to completely take the collar off and do a round neckline. And we'll probably need to pull this in a little bit, maybe with a gather stitch. So I'm going to show you how I do that now, okay? So first of all, I need to alter the shoulder. So here you can see it's hanging off, here. So I'm going to mark this with a pin. So on my mannequin, you do this on yourself if you don't have a dress form. But I'm going to try this on myself as well after. I'm just doing it on here so you can see, first of all. So it's about here for me, so that's my shoulder marking. Put one there and one at this side. So that is where I want my shoulder seam to be to start and I'm going to cut this away, I'm going to cut that round. And then also I'm going to do a round neckline so all of this is going to be cut away and I want my neckline to come down to about here. So this is going to be the centre scoop of my neckline and as you can see I've got a button here I'm probably going to bring that button down, but actually I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put a press stud on the other side so it doesn't spoil that line of buttons there. So I'm going to hem it here with some binding. Now you can either do that, make that from this grey, from parts of your sleeve fabric or any that you've got left on the bottom. You can use shop bought bias binding or you can make your own from a different fabric and some scraps. I'm going to probably use some scrap fabric in a, in a pattern. So that's what I'm going to do, okay? So, this is your neckline. I'm going to cut this round in a scoop. And then we need to find our waist point. Again, you want to try this on so you can find your waist. And I know that this is quite reliable on the mannequin for me. So it's about here. I'm going to cut it here straight across when we take it off the mannequin. And we're going to cut it straight across front and back. Allow a seam allowance also. Because you're going to need a seam allowance here, you don't want it to end up too high, okay? So I'm going to do that now. Now that we've taken the collar off and the sleeves out, look how wide this is. So you don't want it that wide. So what you're going to do, you're going to pin it down each side to fit your body. So try it on to do this. So I'll do it on this side because you can see better. So you want to pinch it in. So for me, look, it's going to need to come in about that much. And then you want it to go fitted to the waist as well, so I'll, I'll show you what I mean here. So, you don't want it too tight, but you do want it quite fitted so that that bottom detail stands out. So as you can see, you're going to take quite a lot out and it's going to come in from the underarm on an angle towards your waist. So that's going to be like that. So it's much more fitted once you've done that. And then you're going to trim that off and then you're going to sew down your side seams, ready for the next stage. Now I've put it on the mannequin the wrong way around now so you can see. So already it's fitting better but we've still got a little bit of excess at the front. So I'm going to add a little dart here on each side. So to do that, tension a little bit. I've got a pin in my mouth, that's why I sound like this. <laughs> down to where you want it to go, so about there. Now what's going to happen here is that's going to come out to a point. 
okay see so it's wider at the bottom and then you're going to run that off the edge so it's going to go off at an angle so your point will be there and then you need to make sure that you get that in the same place on the other side so take it off fold it over and mark it with a little snip at the bottom and also mark with a bit of chalk where they sense here so you get them both the same. That's if you're doing some darts, you don't have to, you can just gather it in with a little gathering stitch if not. Right, this bottom bit of the shirt, we don't want to make it too tricky, especially if you're a beginner. So we're going to need to match up this centre panel here, so that needs to stay where it is. We're going to make this a little bit shorter, I'm going to cut in at an angle like this. Allow yourself a little bit of seam allowance there and then we're going to flip that over and do the same on the other side so you get it even. So I'll move it out of the way. Just get it so it's the same and then we'll neaten all this up after. So. I want that sort of about there. Same on the other side. And then lengthwise, I think just above that, just above that button I think. So I'm going to cut it on a slight curve. Fold it over again. And we'll save that for later. Now, because you're not going to get much of a, f a frill if you just use this piece, we're going to put a piece in the centre of each front. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut it down here straight. So let me start about there. So I'm going to cut straight up there. And then on the other side, I'm doing it by eye, you might want to measure it. Straight up there and at the back I'm just going to cut straight up the centre and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two pieces on an angle like this that are going to go in there and then we're going to need to gather those but they'll give us a bit of a frill so as you can see we've got this piece and that's going to go in the centre of there and then we'll replicate that on the other side So these are going to be stitched in there and there and then you want one for the centre back. So I would fold this back piece in half and cut it like so. And then that's going to go in your centre back seam. So at this point this is what we're starting to look like. So we've got a bit of a frill around the bottom, a bit of a peplum effect. And now we're going to sort out the sleeves. So to make the sleeves, I'm going to chop the sleeves in half, halfway down the length, and then we're going to stitch two pieces together so we've got a bit of fullness to make a short sleeve. So we're going to do that next. Now I've cut these sleeves in half, and then I've also cut them in half down the centre. Now these pieces I've uh, cut from the bottom, I'm not going to use all of that because it'll be too much. So I'm going to cut that up the centre as well. I'm only going to use part of it, so what you're going to do, you're going to stitch that side there and that side there and then we're going to run a gather stitch all the way along there. So it's one line of stitching all the way along, leave some loose ends nice and long and then another line of stitching directly beside it 
and then you're going to gather all that up and then pin it into your shoulder and your sleeve so that it fits nicely. Just keep pulling the gathers until it fits in your sleeve and pin it as you go. Take your time and this is a really good way of making a sleeve fit as well so if you're new to putting sleeves in using a big full gathered one is a good way of like um, avoiding any errors really if you're uncertain about adding sleeves. Right so you have your sleeve in so you can see it's nice and gathered and it's looking a little bit more like our diagram. So once I've done that I'm now going to just put a few more gathered stitches here and then hem around the bottom of the sleeve. So I'm not going to put a band on the bottom, I'm just going to put a few gathered stitches. Then we're going to sort out our neck. So pull your gathered stitches around your neck, your line of gathered stitching here, once you're wearing it so you can figure out whether it's lying nice and flat. And then you're going to make some binding or use some boat binding to just finish off that neck edge. Now I'm going to make mine out of scrap fabric, so I'm going to stitch some pieces together, three to four centimetres wide, long pieces, fold them over, press them and then use that as my binding. So that's what I'm going to do with mine now. So here it is finished. So I've used a contrast here on the neck, but you could do it in the same fabric if you want to. Got a bit of a frill around the bottom and at the back. Sticking to my mannequin a bit, she's a bit fuzzy. And the sides, you've got that nice puff sleeve. So I'll go and pop that on now to show you how it fits. So here we are all finished. So I hope that was helpful in showing you another version of what can be done with a man's shirt. So I'm happy with how it turned out. Like I said before, you don't have to do the contrast fabric here. You could keep it all grey or whatever colour your shirt is if you wanted. So I just thought that was an extra detail to help it. So I'll stand up. So you can see we've got that nice effect at the bottom. Gathered sleeves. You could actually take these in a bit further, but I think they're quite nice as they are. And the fill down the back. So, have a go at refashioning a shirt. And if you do have a go, it would be lovely if you could let me know in the comments below and if this was useful to you. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you again here soon. Bye for now. Hello, I'm back today for a refashion with this grey shirt that I bought from the charity shop yesterday. So I've decided what I'm going to do with this. So we're going to make it look quite different. So this one was a man's size medium. I'm going to size it down to my size, which is an 8 to 10, depending on what pattern or style you're going for. And this is what I've decided I'm going to do. So I'm going to hold it up so you can see. So I'm going to make the body fitted. I'm going to alter the shoulder line so that it fits my shoulders and it's not hanging off. I'm going to alter the sleeves. Now this is probably going to mean stitching the top part of the sleeve to the bottom part and having a join part of the way up because I want to make it quite full and gathered. And then I'm going to have this area finish at the waist and it come out at the bottom a bit like a peplum. Now not a complete peplum because we haven't got enough fabric for enough gather but I'm going to make it look a little bit like that um, by adding a join and then making it narrow at the waist and come out a little bit so I'll show you how I cut the pieces for that. I'm also thinking I'm going to do sort of a, a different fabric on this band that goes around the neck here so I'm going to completely take the collar off and do a round neckline and we'll probably need to pull this in a 
a little bit, maybe with a gather stitch. So I'm going to show you how I do that now, okay?